everybody. Uh, sorry that you have to just stare at my hands for this intro, but uh, I decided to do this a little bit differently. I decided instead of doing a voiceover, I'm just going to talk to you guys while I do it. So hopefully this works out. We'll see how it goes. I might go back to the voiceover. I might continue to do it this way. But let me just open up my journal and then we can get started. So I think what my plan is, is I'm just going to kind of say what page I'm doing, do it, and then explain what I did afterwards. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So this is my March journal with me for my reading journal. And this is February, so ignore that. But I am about to do the title page. So yeah, let's just, let's just get into it. we're at right now. I decided to do a sort of like plant-like theme this month and I wanted to do like brown paper so I just found some brown paper around my house and then I also tried to mimic like if I had the um, letter stamps with my marker because I don't have those but I wanted that sort of look so that is what I did and I decided to do like I said a little bit of a plant theme so I have some plant stamps that I used and then I also drew some plants on the top um, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do something on the bottom. I kind of feel like I really like where it's at right now, so I don't want to do too much and then end up not liking it. So I think I'm going to leave this for now and maybe come back later and add some stuff on the bottom. But I am happy with this, even though it is quite empty down here. I just don't want to do something for the sake of doing something and then end up not liking it. So I'm going to stop here and move on to the calendar. Page. So this is just like a monthly overview of the entire month, put in important dates. I also keep um, track of like YouTube videos when I've needed to film them, when I've filmed them, when they're uploaded and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to do that now.
this is kind of my calendar page right now. This came out like trash, <laughs> but it's okay. Again, very simple, not a lot going on. Again, don't really know what to do within the empty space and I don't wanna to do too much to make it look too messy. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this. But again, I kind of did the same like style of lettering with the numbers and the letters again, as if I had stamps. So yeah, that's kind of what this is looking like right now. I have my uh, upload schedule over here and I added this plant just cause it was very empty over here and it looks like garbage but it's okay. Again, might go in and add some stuff later on in the empty spaces once I figure out what to do, but as of right now, I don't want to overdo it. So, so now on this page, I'm going to have my books read spread. So I'll just list every book that I read during the month. And then on this page, this will be my pages read spread. So I will keep track of how many pages per day I read. I do these spreads every month. So this isn't anything new if you've seen any of my journal videos before. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do those. So here is my books read and my TBR page and I think what I'm going to do is just write my TBR. I'm not entirely sure what is going to be on my TBR yet so I will do my TBR here and then I might do another like brown piece of paper for just the rest of the books that I read but I don't want to put that there and then have either not enough space for my TBR or too much space so I'm going to wait until I actually figure out what my TBR is and then do that. Hopefully that made sense. And then I have my pages read per day spreads and I smudged the uh, stamp, but I mean, I've been doing that this whole time, but that's okay. Would it be a journaling video with me if there wasn't smudging all over the pages? No, I don't have black paper. So I just used my Tombow marker and drew a little black box and then cut it out and then wrote per day with my white gel pen, which you can't really see. So I might try and go over that again. And then I wrote total pages down here because that's something I think is really interesting to look at. And I'm just going to quickly take this off because it's going into the into the 31st day and I don't want that to get in the way. So this is my books read and TBR and also my pages read per day spreads. I'm relatively happy with how these came out. Again, the bottom of this looks a little plain, but I don't know. I just don't want to do too much and then have it be messy. So now we are on to my habit tracker and my monthly favorites page. So I'm not quite sure I'm doing this yet, but I do a habit tracker every month and I'm going to keep doing it in this like layout where I just have a list and then I color in each box each day. And then my monthly favorites, I might do that as well in a list. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but that is what is next.
Okay, so this is my habit tracker and monthly favorites page done. I'm really happy with how this page came out, but look at that. I smudged who is surprised. That is probably the worst one that I've done so far. I did just put a stamp right there, so I do want to let it dry a little bit so it doesn't transfer and smudge that one as well. But yeah, I'm really happy with this page. Actually, I really like how this came out. I was not sure how I was going to do this page, but I am really pleased with how I decided to do it this month. Okay, now that I waited a little bit for this to dry, I'm going to move on to the next page. So these are my last two spreads for this month. So I have my to-do list and a readathon that I'm going to be participating in. I'm going to do a TBR page over here. So while I was waiting for that to dry, I just cut out a piece of paper from a notebook and added a stamp over here that I already smudged because it's not dry. I am the worst, basically. So yeah, I'm just going to put this in here, have my to-do list over here, and then my readathon TBR over here, which is still to be determined. So this page is gonna be a little empty, but that's okay. So this is kind of what I'm just going to do for now. I know this is very boring and I know that this is pretty empty, but I'm not entirely sure what my TBR for this readathon will be yet. So I don't want to fill it in quite yet. Also, if you are interested in the backlist readathon, I will have the Twitter for this readathon linked down below. There are a ton of amazing creators who came together to create this readathon. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. But yeah, let me just do a quick little flip through. So this is what the month of March is going to look like for me. I am pretty happy with how everything came out, even though there is a lot of smudging when it came to the stamps, but I'm still really happy with it. I definitely really like the whole brown page thing that I decided to do. I think that that looks really neat and adds a bit of interest. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's going to complete this journal with me, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.